literature review. If we look at the studies that have been done on teachers, male and female teachers, we come to know that a number of self-studies comparing male and female teachers found that female teachers were more satisfied with their careers. They possessed a better attitude towards their profession, students and schoolwork. There could be reasons why the male teachers were not very satisfied. It could be possible that the salaries of the teachers are low and therefore since the male in the Pakistani context is supposed to look after a family, so the income that is generated through teaching profession is not enough for the whole family. So that could be one reason that is why the male teachers are not satisfied with the careers. Whereas on the other hand, for the woman, generally it is like a pocket money that she is earning as a teacher. So she tends to be more satisfied. Also there can be reasons that since the females are not given an opportunity to have more exposure in their lives, in the Pakistani context, therefore, by becoming teachers, they have that exposure, they go out of the house, they meet people, and probably they feel more satisfied in their careers because of this reason. Of course, there can be many other reasons due to which we can say that the female teachers are more satisfied with their careers and their jobs, and they have a better attitude towards their profession. Of course, Satisfaction leads to better attitude. If we come to know that the female teachers are more satisfied in their careers, it is uh, the result of that that they will be having better attitude toward their professions. And also towards their students, they will be more caring because they like their job and also because of the schoolwork which is given to them. On the other hand, if we consider that the male teachers, they are not uh, satisfied with the jobs because of the reasons given such as monetary reasons they are not happy with their salaries they have to look after a big family and the salary is less so that is the reason the basic reason for their dissatisfaction therefore they do not take interest in their work they do not like their work their attitude towards their students is a bit harsh because they are not happy with their own selves, they are not satisfied, they don't want to take care and they don't want to take extra responsibilities because uh, they already have too much to look for and they think that they are not being rewarded accordingly. Therefore, they will not be happy and their attitude will not be that of a teacher who is taking care and responsibility of the students. And the responsibilities given by the school will be sort of a burden for them because they already think that the work they are doing they are not being paid for. However, there can be other reasons due to which the male teachers would not be as satisfied as the female teachers in the context of Pakistani culture. The female teachers are uh, seen to be exhibited, exhibiting better mental health and suffered less from problems related to their teaching activities. Again, there can be reasons for that, that the female teachers, they uh, display better mental health. That is that they do not get annoyed. They do not shout at the students. They have better mental health, means they try to stay calm. They can be patient, whereas the male teachers, they can easily get angry and annoyed and can just be triggered to shout at the students. And sometimes it has also been seen that the male teachers, they inflict corporal punishment and sometimes they beat the students, which is supposed to be a very harsh attitude. There can be different reasons for that. And also this needs to be studied and it is an area which calls for attention that why are the male teachers behaving in this way and in this regards there has to be some study done as well and the problems related to their teaching activities can be discussed with them and there should be a report on that how to make them balanced 
people in their behavior and their mental health in order to deal with the young people who are actually dependent for their growth and development in their personality on their teachers.